Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'll be looking at the Nexus NX3000 Ultra Quiet 300 Watt Power Supply. This power supply is a little different than most because this one is extremely quiet. At around 22 decibels when your computer system is in idle mode and on average PC consumption it's around 26 decibels. Now I'm going to be testing this power supply a little later on so you can have a listen and see actually how quiet it is. Also this is very highly efficient as well as it has excellent airflow through it. Also this power supply is 300 watts. Now how do they come up with this wattage rating. Well, there's a thing called rails, and what they are are well-regulated transformers which convert your domestic current into voltages that your computer system can use, and there are basically two different types of rails. There's a 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and a 12 volt rail, and in this particular case, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is around 200 watts, and the remaining 12 volt rail is the rest. Also, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for things like your motherboard, your memory, your PCI cards, your AGP cards, and so on. And the 12 volt rail is responsible for things like your hard drives, DVD, CD-ROM drives, fans, etc. This power supply has five Molex connectors, and those go plugged into things like your hard drives, your DVD drives, CD-ROM drives, etc. There are two floppy drive connections, and there are power connections on this power supply for new Intel and AMD-based motherboards. This power supply looks the same from the inside and the outside as almost any other power supply on the market. However, there are a few vital differences. This one has one fan, and that fan is very quiet. Some other power supplies have one fan, but the fan is loud, or maybe that other power supply has a couple of fans and those fans are loud. But certainly, this is very quiet. And also, it has two massive heat sinks in here. That's a little different. Some power supplies do not have heat sinks which are this large. Everything else is pretty common. You have the printed circuit board. You also have the transformers, the resistors, etc. And something else that's standard is on the back here, the on-off switch, as well as the power cable connection. This power supply is so quiet, I'm going to use a little piece of tissue here to prove that I'm turning it on. And as you can hear, this power supply is extremely quiet. This power supply is very quiet, but does it have the juice to power all the new systems that are coming on the market these days? Well, the answer to that question is a definite yes. To give you an example, I have an Intel Pentium 4 2.5 GHz at 3 GHz with a CD-ROM, as well as a CD burner, a DVD, a couple of hard drives, and the standard things, and this power supply has no problems at all powering that setup. Also, of course, AMD systems would not have a problem. Now, if you're power hungry, you have 8 plus hard drives and all kinds of other drives and cards, etc. Well, this would not be the power supply for you. and You'd need something with a little bit more wattage. But overall, this is a great product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, be sure to pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, go into the forums. If you haven't already registered, remember, registration is completely free. Until the next time, take care.